Hey man, I got a birthday surprise for you. My birthday is a few months from now. Oh. Hey man, I got a half birthday surprise for you. Oh my gosh, you remembered? What is it? Two tickets to the new Mortal Kombat movie. Oh, pass. Oh, come on, man, it looks rad. Does it? Yeah, I mean, it has arrows, guns, powers, robots, and maybe boats. You love boats. Yeah, boats my favorite. But listen, you're a clone of mine, and you know what the worst video game movie is, right? Lord Warcraft Relic Run. Run. And it still wouldn't be good. Just face it, man. Video game movies suck. That's blasphemy. Name me one good video game movie. Super Mario Bros. Garbage. Resident Evil. Poor. Resident Evil Apocalypse. Pee poor. Resident Evil Afterlife. Awful. Resident Evil. They're all bad. Max Payne. Painful. Street Fighter. Unbearable. Street Fighter. Wait for it. The Legend of Chun Li. Actually, it had some okay moments in it. Really? Heck no! That was the worst one! Okay, so maybe there have been a few misfires. They're all trash. I mean, look at this. Look at this clip from a video game movie, and just, just look at the scene, and I'm gonna prove to you that it's bad, alright? Sand. Is there more of it? Of course not. <sighs> See what you were looking for, Prince? Yikes, I don't know what's worse, the writing or Jake Gyllenhaal's accent. And that's just, that's not just the worst part. I mean, look at the Super Mario Post game. It, that, if they call it the game because, hey, they got Mario and Luigi. And they got a princess, a Yoshi, and a King Koopa. And guess what? That is just one of the most garbagest movies I have ever seen. I mean, like, look at this speech that this guy made. And he said, and I, I mean, like, he said, and I quote, You can't do a movie without the human drama, and the video game cannot do that. So the video game do all sorts of a face pulling, all sorts of I'm a bad man and have a mean jagged sword, but it can't do any more than that. What an incredible and kind of weird speech they got there. I mean, he gave the speech, and then what does the video game movie do? They put a bad man with a mean jagged sword. How do you have all these clips queued up? I come extremely prepared for my arguments. Okay, well you are right that um, some video game movies are all bad, but that doesn't mean that they'll never be the best video game movies ever. I mean like, they're superhero movies, they got it wrong the first time, but at least they got it right the last time. Here, give me that. So disrespectful. See, so see. Back in the old days, superhero movies just seemed like kid stuff. Cheesy, over-the-top kid stuff. And then eventually, when Christopher, guys like Christopher Nolan, Sam Raimi, and Kevin Foggy started to get these characters right, instead of just them putting on a costume and pretending to get superpowers for a movie, you know? And then there's also, like, classic comic references, like this clip from the X-Men movie. You actually go outside in these things? What would you prefer? Yellow spandex? How did you get these clips on my TV? Yeah, I mean, I mean, sure, there were a few misfires from here and there. Batman v Superman, Colin Dong, Justice, Suicide Squad, Justice League. And when people say that video game movies will never be as good as Marvel, I mean, or DC, or Marvel, or Star Wars movies, I'm like, no. I think there is a matter of time where there'll be good video game movies in the future. Hey, you know what? You're right. It is only a matter of time. And maybe, just maybe, Mortal Kombat's the one to finally get it right. So, are you ready to go? Let's do it! Don't you forget to remember me. Well, it is the fourth after all.